All right, so this is fun right here. Uh, the libs of TikTok lady, her name is Chaya Rychik. Um, She's made quite a name for herself with her little libs of TikTok account. Um, now, I have no idea why she was uh, brought in to speak at some college, some event. I just, like, really? This is what we're doing now? What, is she considered a public intellectual or something like that? Have you heard her in any interviews? Does she seem like an intellectual to you? Well, anyway, so she went and gave some sort of speech. And, uh, I don't know, she apparently naively expected that this uh, room of college students wouldn't be hostile to her. But they are. But they were respectful. Um, and so she goes, she does her little tap dance, says the stuff she normally says. Uh, but she's asked by one of the students, can you define wokeness? Because this is her main thing. She brings up wokeness all the time. Woke this, woke that. You guys know the drill. Look at how bad... She face plants when asked to define something that is like the core of her politics. Watch this. It's, uh, it's in our kids' schools. It's on college campuses. It is in the workforce. Uh, it is in the streets. It's when you go to the store. I mean, like, you can't do anything in peace without this wokeness being shoved down your throat wherever you go. Um, so, do you have a question? Is there something funny? I do. Uh, how do you define wokeness? Wokeness is the destruction of normalcy and and um. <laughs> wokeness is the destruction of normalcy. Normalcy is not a word. Bro, this is the core of your politics. This, like, oh, remember, what was that woman's name? Was it Bethany Mandel or something like that? She was being interviewed by Brianna Joy Gray. And uh, Brianna asked her, like, can you define wokeness? And she wasn't saying it as a gotcha. She was actually trying to engage in the conversation in question. And she, the woman just totally, totally shut down. Totally blanked. Just, like, boom. Eyes glaze over. Nothing's there. Can't do it. Not even close. And now you have the queen of anti-wokeness is asked to define it. And she says, wokeness is the destruction of their being nice in this. And they say normalcy. She said normalcy. And, uh, um, uh, uh, come on, man. All right. So look, what's, what's the reality here? At this point, all these people that are obsessed with wokeness, it's just like, Anything that I personally don't like, which is sort of a lefty or liberal thing, right? Like, that's what it's become. Anything that's left of center that uh, annoys me is now wokeness, which is why you've seen the mission creep. It, it used to be more relegated to social issues type stuff and stuff around race and gender. And then now it's become, you know, we've seen the arguments. Universal healthcare is woke. We just did the segment where the end wokeness account was bitching and moaning about uh, the minimum wage being increased in California. So now higher minimum wage is woke. Universal health care is woke. Is getting money out of politics woke too? Is that woke? Like you're making it so everybody wants to sign up for wokeness now. It's just mission creep. Anything that's left of center that they don't like, they just say, hey, wokeness is bad. Now in reality, how was it used? Well, there's two ways I look at it, wokeness. There's the positive interpretation and the negative interpretation. The positive interpretation of wokeness is being alert to injustice. Like, back in the day, they'd be like, stay woke. And that meant, like, you know, keep your eyes on the injustice. Try to improve things, make things better. That's the positive connotation. The negative connotation of wokeness is, and this is the way that many on the right used it for a long time, is like calling out people who use authoritarianism in service of what they view as social justice, right? So like censoring somebody who says something that's racist or sexist, saying, hey, for the good of everybody, let's censor them because the harm that that's doing outweighs the virtue of protecting free speech. That would be wokeness, right? That's the negative interpretation of wokeness. She can't even give that. She couldn't even say it's uh, when... Lefties are authoritarianism 
because they want to defend what they think is social justice. She can't even give that. The destruction of normalcy? The destruction of normalcy. So then look, we're at the point now where, based on your definition, straightforward interpretation of your definition, well, you know, gay marriage was a diversion from what was normal at the time, from normalcy at the time, right? So would you say gay marriage is woke? It fits your goofy-ass definition that you gave right there. And again, what she means is anything that goes against my sensibilities, I will define as woke, and I will attack. It's just... I told you guys a while ago, we reach peak wokeness. Remember, you had Ron DeSantis running an entire presidential campaign on wokeness. Then they actually did some polling on it, and most people were like, what the fuck is wokeness? <laughs> and dropped it immediately. I mean, like that. Him and Vivek Ramaswamy running on, oh, I'm against wokeness, bro. Woo, 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 woo. And then, as soon as they saw the polling numbers, that, like, nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about. You look like a dork. This isn't landing. They dropped it like hot potatoes. And then, so now, we've gone past peak wokeness. Nobody knows what you're saying. Normies don't. Nobody cares what you're saying. And so now when asked to define it, this is the best she could do. Oh, uh, things that are violation of nor normalcy. Wokeness is the destruction of normalcy. And, uh, um... But, okay, by that definition, anything that is not status quo is woke. Anything that's not status quo is woke. But there's so much about the status quo that sucks, right? Like, endless war is the status quo. Does that mean being anti-war is woke? Like, like oh, God... Oh, it's so embarrassing. How did this woman become a political figure? This is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, anyway. Good luck with that, conservatives. Come get your, uh, come get your intellectuals. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.